and then to start or to end we are standing here we started where the young boy says as a rural boy knowing nothing no english only looking after the sheep or cows or goats or, or horses but cricket came along in our village the village of Mtingu in King Willamstown where nobody knew anything about it not even see a car only know only buses one o'clock eight o'clock if you miss that one you walk home <laughs> but now all of those things they made so much different in our lives talking about cricket cricket we were playing just for fun you know trying to make a cricket ball you bend the plastic and roll it together or you take a tennis ball that you see that little bit of a bounce but we never ball it we never knew if for you to be able to get to the other end you need to turn your arm over we used to throw it and play among ourselves but when arun asked me about this africa t20 and then i asked him you're talking about africa or you're talking about south africa and then he says no we're talking about africa and then i say if you're talking about africa i put my hand up i want to be part of it yes we had a uh, ins and out arguments you know there and there but we end up shaking each other's hands because that's the freedom of the game that's the reason because you cannot say yes to anything that you know you don't know how proper it will be because when you're talking about africa you're not talking about me you're talking about the millions and millions of people in the country or outside the country and then i know Arun, when you're talking about cricket everybody walks talk cricket because that's the only sport we realize that can make a massive difference to us as the rural people. Firstly, to say that we never had soccer in our rural areas. We only, either you're an athlete or you play rugby or you play cricket. So when we're given that opportunity that we can play this game of cricket, we took it, but not knowing how far it will go. It was the first thing, we didn't know how to speak English. We didn't know how to communicate with the rest of the world. But we love the game because it makes us feel healthier. It makes us feel better than the others because the competition is there. You're talking about the likes of uh, Kettle Ambrose, Courtney Walsh and Michael Marshalls. Those were our heroes. But the time goes, we end up having heroes like Brian McMillan, Pat Simcox. We're talking about all of those guys. Hansi Kronje is one of our best captains that this country will ever 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 had i started under Hansi Kronje, but the only time that i remember when he gave me that cap in cape town and then he says to me this is the start of the beginning of your future that on its own he gave me that benefit of understanding that this game can make it different not only for me but by me sticking and play and show the world, the rest of the world that they can do it as well. That made me a better person. That changed my life. That made me realize that I'm not alone within all of this. I'm standing here or carrying that cricket ball or bowling that cricket ball is for that young star in a rural areas in Africa. We're talking about Kenya. We're talking about Mozambique, Botswana, whatever the country that plays cricket today. It was not because they wanted to, it because we inspired them by playing every single game that we can get our hands into. Saying that, having this is going to change a lot of cricket in this world. Not just in South Africa, but in the whole world. And I know that the moment that get televised, the moment that everyone sees how good he is the tournament on its own the rest of the world will want to be part of it probably will have the africa world t20 we don't know but it's a start everything start here and then we grow from there and then 
Altaf, I know we had so many things between the two of us not being consistent in our things that we talk about, but all in all, what I'm trying to say, Mr. Arun, thank you very much for inviting me and making me ambassador of the Africa T20. And then I know that for me to be the, being there, it will change a lot of the other young cricketers. And then I know that as a person who comes from border, where there is absolutely nothing, Arun, I'm saying this in front of you, <laughs> there is nothing there. And then you know yourself that where you will find black cricketers is not in Gauteng, is in the Eastern Cape. And then I'm asking you, begging you that please don't turn your back away from the Eastern Cape. Please bring back our cricket into the hands of the black kids of the Eastern Cape. I'm not talking about East London, no. I'm talking about the Eastern Cape overall. If you want to take the kids out of the street, please come to the Eastern Cape. I don't say support me, but what I'm trying to say, bring cricket back in our schools in the Eastern Cape. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.